think of, of um, the start of acne starts up here at the hypothalamus gland, right here. Think of it as a radio antenna on your head, okay? And it receives all signals of stress, regardless of what type of stress. It could be subliminal stress, stress you don't know where it's coming from. It could be going from a uh, uh, young man or young woman or, or kid into puberty. It could be the peaches and cream girl that had the most flawless skin in high school and you all hated her guts. And then when she had her first baby, boom, acne, hormonal change. It could be a woman who's gone through her whole life with flawless skin and then hits menopause, boom, onset adult acne, even on the breast and on the back. It could happen for many reasons, but all of it is related to a stressful condition which starts the hormonal cascade to malfunction. The hypothalamus gland picks up the telephone and rings the pituitary gland and says, hey, look, there's a lot of stress coming down the line here. The pituitary gland picks up the phone and calls the adrenal glands, the excitement glands, and it says, oh, well, my God, stress is coming. And then the adrenal glands pick up their trunk line and they ring up the testosterone and repeat the message and the testosterone goes, oh God, another message of stress and calls up Mr. Sebaceous gland and says, you know what, you got to start pumping some more oil here. And of course, all you would have at that point would be excessively oily skin, except what about cuticle buildup? And what about kids whose cell proliferation is very quick turnover? So all of these cells start to encapsulate this little gland that's now puffed up with oil and says, oh, there's something irregular going on here in the skin. We better isolate this problem and they encapsulate it. New cell growth around that area. And it's like water behind a dam. It can't flow evenly out on the face anymore. It's backed up with dead cells. It starts to reservoir and eventually it becomes a big bump. And then the kid looks in the mirror and says, oh my God, I've got a date Friday night. I can't have this honker. <laughs> Squeeze. Now what happens? P. acne bacteria waltzes in the door and now there's a party going on. 